Hello. You put a hole in our yurt. You put a hole in our yurt. Again. <laughs> Sorry. Let's clog it up. Okay. So I went out in the forest and we had a couple of nice sized trunks from trees that we've already down, getting ready for other projects. And I milled some little like two inch slabs off this guy. Hopefully that's enough thickness that it will never crack and it will dry slowly outside and it's already been sitting there for a while. Drilled into it in four places. It's into the lattice wall of the yurt. Remember when you guys watched us build the yurt, there's the lattice wall. It looks like a trellis. This is drilled into that. So that's the yurt inside there. <laughs> and now this guy will give some grip to this tubing in there. And on the inside of the yurt, I'll take you in there and I'll show you guys, we're gonna put a cat, a normal cat door in there. So the cats will go in and out of a cat door, but right here, they'll be able to go through this tube, shoot down here <laughs> like little badgers and then find their way into the cat enclosure. Then the tube will come down right into there and empty out into the cat enclosure. Come on, bros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the blue boys. Hey, look, look, look. Yeah, come right out here. Look, now you can see. Hopefully you guys can't fit inside there. He's trying so hard. Sit. <gasps> he got it! Good job, guys. He caught one! Yay! <laughs> I'm so proud of you! Kai, come here, come here, Kai. Spin. Yeah! <laughs> you did it again! Wow! Sit. Spin. Sit. <laughs> he has no idea how to do it. Yes, Kai's like, got it every time. That's so awesome. Good job, guys. Good job. Good <laughs> job.
jobs. I've noticed in the YouTube comments lately, people have been putting down, you guys should clean up your work area. Your work area is messy, you should clean it up. And I'm like, you know, you're lucky that we film all this stuff for you guys. At the end of our project, once we're done and we're at a good place, it will be spick and span incredibly clean. The guys better appreciate this. Here, let me show them what we're doing. Okay, so that's the cat playhouse tunnel, huh? Yes. So we recycled old tires from a junkyard in the closest town and we just filled it with concrete because this is very uneven ground and there's like big gigantic boulders that we obviously can't bring up right now. So we're using the tires as like a concrete form. Yeah, recycled tires. So we're just going to be taping these together with duct tape and foil tape and then eventually screwing them in. So I'm just drying it off. It's starting to rain so we gotta hurry. Um, so the thing can actually stick to it, the tape. Hey, I love how Pinteresty that uh, log behind you looks on the yurt. Yeah, it looks nice. It's like, it's like going out of a log into another one. Yeah. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. And the big question on my mind and everybody's mind is, will the cats use the tube? Will they like it? Will they know what to do? And will it be scary for them? Or did we design it with the right angles? for okay. them to go through it. I'm worried about this angle right here. Hope they can make it through that angle. Hopefully. I think they can for sure. It's locked. Do you think they like it? I think, I think so. Because I think that they were so bored in the yurt, like so bored that this is just entertainment for them. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm gonna have fun watching them figure it out. Yeah. Because if I leave them out here, they will figure out that tube, I promise. He's already, Ginseng's already figuring it out. He's like, he's like, I'm gonna test this thing out. Mm -hmm. How do I get back into the yurt? Plus, they think about it for 10 months. They've been in the yurt and we brought them outside a couple times under supervision, but they really haven't felt the wind or the sun or the rain or the elements. And at night when they had their super senses, you know, hearing all the birds and all the, all the bugs and all that stuff and, and be protected. So now if like a cougar does come to mess around with them, they can just shoot in the tube real quick and get back in the yurt where it's safe. He, he walked on his own this, this time. Come on, Jensen! Oh. Come here, kitty kitty! Come here, kitty kitty kitty! Jensen! <gasps> Hi, baby! Did you take it? Yeah! <laughs> ah, you did it!
What'd you think? That was crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's exactly where I wanted it to go, but that was kind of scary because I'm always afraid with the leaners. They're so easy to cut and you can predict where they're going to go. But I'm afraid that the bottom is going to split up and hit me in the face. So luckily the tree is very healthy and strong. And that'll be firewood for us for the whole winter next year. This alder. The locals around here say it's the worst for construction. So we're using the alder for our firewood and getting it chopped up now so we can be drying out and getting seasoned. Are you gonna help give a, give a ten a massage? Give him a massage. Pop his back. Ah, pop. he's bit my neck. <laughs> I'm gonna like push down and try to like pop the different vertebra. Go Carl. Go Carl. Join us next time on Jake and Nicole Off Grid. Jake and I expand the deck so we can finally start on our washroom, and I make some delicious treats. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.